In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made an easy DIY IKEA dining chair hack. Using only the hardware that the chair already had, I was able to give it a modern, chic look. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more DIY builds and reviews. Alright, let's get started. My first step was to take the seat off the chair. The nice thing about IKEA furniture is that it's usually pretty easy to disassemble. The first seat I took off already had bare wood underneath, so I thought I'd just try sanding and staining to see how it looks. For some reason, the next chair I started working on didn't have any bare wood, so I thought I'd just sand the paint and see what happens. As it turned out, the second piece was actually much easier to work with during the finishing stages. I'll be showing a side-by-side -side comparison later. Then it was time to start sanding the rest of the chair. Since I'll be painting this part, I basically just needed to scuff it up a little bit to help get a more even finish. Once all the surfaces had been sanded, I gave the chair a coat of white paint. And voila! Next, I apply wood pre-stained conditioner to help even out the stain. I find that pre-stain is especially helpful on softer woods. I let the pre-stain set for about two hours, then it was time for my stain of choice, special walnut. I'm applying stain to the bare wood seat, and as you can see, it isn't applying as evenly as I was hoping, mainly around the edges. The seat on the left was the bare wood, and the seat on the right is the painted one I sanded. You can tell that the sanded piece received the stain much more evenly. Though I also sanded the left seat, I ended up making the edges of the finish too uneven. Either way, I just needed to reattach the seat, and I was done. I'm really happy with how this turned out, and honestly, I'm kind of surprised it ended up finishing so well. Considering minimal tools were used and pretty much no wood altering, I would say this is a great way to spruce up these IKEA dining room chairs. I'm planning on finishing the remaining chairs and the table itself as well in a video to come, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more custom DIY builds and reviews at Humble Hands.